um, once again, but this time it's about a follow-up on the one that I just did. Um, so this Alexander dude confronted me after I called him out on his bullshit, right? Well, he sat there and told me, well, this dude's had 30-something years of experience. Well, that's all well and good, dude. But the one thing you don't fucking realize is that it's not just about years of experience. Like, I've known guys that have done this shit for 40 to God knows how many years. And honestly, they can't draw worse shit. And that's what it all boils down to is knowing how to draw. You can have all the experience in the world and still be a shitty artist. Years of experience don't mean shit. What it all boils down to is the artwork. Whether you're good at drawing. Whether you're good at, you know, any kind of art. That's what it ultimately boils down to, man. And, uh, and that's one thing that you fail to realize. Excuse me while I work on this Lamborghini here. I'm actually doing a piece for a good friend of mine who I have not seen in years on here. So I figured I'd hook her up with something pretty badass. Well, like I said, man, it all boils down to, you know, whether you're good at artwork or not, and that's what it fucking boils down to. As I said, you can have all the experience in the fucking world. And... You can have all the know-how of being a tattoo artist, but still be a shitty artist. It all boils down to whether you know how to draw or not. Like I said, I know how to do cartoon work. That's what I specialize in. And some people do like cartoon style shit. Some people like photorealistic or hyperrealistic. And like I said, dude, honestly, from what I've seen of your guy, honestly, he fucking sucks. Not trying to be mean, dude, but your artist is a fucking piece of shit. Not just because he doesn't charge you, but I've seen his work and he's honestly not that good. I have seen way, way better come out of a lot of artists that are even local around here. Like, you might recognize the, actually, the pretty infamous tattoo shop, Arkham Asylum Tattoos. Located right here in Akron. They're the hella famous. Which they did move locations here in Akron, but all the same, they're still one of the biggest tattoo shops ever, you know, built. And, you know, and it saddens me, dude, because you're a good guy. You really are. But honestly, man, your artist, like I said, he's a piece of shit. You need to find a new artist, dude. Like I said, I'm not trying to degrade you or rip on you or anything like that, dude. I'm trying to fucking save you from making a fucking mistake. Like I said, dude, you don't deserve a shitty tattoo. Nobody deserves a shitty tattoo. Nobody does. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. Nobody deserves a shitty tattoo. And 
And that's why I said, you know, like, you need to find a new fucking artist. Because honestly, man, your guy is not as good as you're fucking making him out to be. And I've seen his artwork. I mean, I've seen what he can do. And honestly, like I said, he's not that good. Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong. He's pretty good, but he's not tattoo artist worthy. He's really not, dude. I've seen his artwork from what you posted and... I'm sorry, but I'm not impressed. Like I said, dude, you can have all the freaking experience in the fucking world and still be a shitty tattoo artist. Like I said, dude, I'm not trying to bash on you. I'm trying to save you from making the worst fucking mistake of your damn life. Because like I said before, dude, not even you deserve a shitty tattoo. You really don't. Nobody deserves that shit. Yeah. Not too impressed with that flame work. Like, if you want a real tattoo artist... Is somebody who really knows what the fuck they're doing. You know, honestly, I would recommend hitting up Hart and Huntington Tattoo Shop out in California. Or somebody along those lines, man. Because the guys at Hart and Huntington Tattoo Shop out in California, man. Like, they've got some badass work. Not even going to lie, dude. Like, they have some of the best work in the world. So like I said, man, I'm not trying to rip on you at all, bro. I'm trying to save you from getting a shitty tattoo from a shitty artist. Hey, what's going on, Devin? Okay, you know, it's like I said in my last video. You know. Like, you can have all the fucking experience in the damn world. And you could still be a shitty tattoo artist. Like, am I claiming to be the best artist in the world? No, I know there's guys out there millions of times better than me. But honestly, I've done artwork long enough to know when an artist is shitty or not. The same goes in the music world. I've been in the music business to long enough to know whether somebody has real potential or they're just flat out shit. Now, like I said, dude, I'm not trying to degrade your boy or anything. I'm not trying to downgrade you or anyone at all. But honestly, man, you need to fucking save yourself, dude. Like, you need to escape the bullshittery that you're fucking kidding yourself with. Actually, you know what? Since I've already done this one, I am going to go back and switch it up. Because like I said, you know, dude, you can have all the experience in the world. But if I see somebody that's got some shitty art and they're doing tattoo work, I'm sorry, but I'm going to call them out on it because they don't fucking deserve to be in the freaking tattooing business. Like I said, not trying to be a dick, but that's just how the fuck it is. And like I said, don't get me wrong, man. Your boy's good with artwork. I've seen some of his shit. He's not half bad for drawing. But for doing that kind of work, no. I'm sorry. He does not belong in the tattooing world. 
he honestly needs to find another profession. Like, I've seen his art, and it's not half bad, I'll admit. But it's not quite up to, you know, the standards of being a proficient, out-of-this-world, impressive tattoo artist. Am I a tattoo artist myself? No, but I am an artist. I've been drawing since the day I could fucking crawl, dude. And honestly, like I said, dude, your boy, he's not the greatest at all. Like, he... He needs a lot of fucking work. And honestly, you're getting ripped off by going to this guy. You are truly getting ripped off. I mean, you might not think you are, but honestly, bro, you are. You are getting ripped off so bad, and it's not fair. You don't deserve to be ripped off. Hell, man, if anything, you deserve to have the best tattoo artist. And believe it or not, Devin, I actually already did it. If you look back at my posts, I actually did a Lamborghini Aventador actually yesterday. It's a Batman Beyond series one so you can check that out but uh, let me knock out this custom piece for a friend of mine and i'll definitely do a ferrari for you dude you know quick simple done but uh like i said man like i'm just trying to save your ass from getting a shitty tattoo from a shitty artist because i see oh yo i'm digging that gtr man that's hot but, you know, like I said, man, any artist who doesn't charge you is a piece of shit. Because they know their shit so bad that they're not worth being paid for. Like, you know, I'm not trying to be an asshole, and if I am, I apologize for that, but I'm being honest. And I'll be straight up honest with you, dude. I would rather be an asshole and be honest rather than be dishonest and let you get a shitty tattoo that is going to fuck with you for the rest of your life. Let's see if we have any body kits in this bitch. No, I don't see any body kits, but that's cool. Wait, you know, man, and I'm sorry if I sound like an asshole, and you can hate me all you want. I don't give a shit. But I would rather be honest, like I said. And, you know, I'd save you from getting the worst tattoo of your entire fucking life. Rather than be a dick and just sit there and just let it happen. Because, honestly, man, it's artists like him that just make real artists like myself who actually have talent look bad. And it's... It's sad because, you know, there's people like myself who do have real talent. And like I said, I'm not trying to be an ass or anything like that. I'm being honest. I 
And like I said, you can hate me all you want, man. I don't give two shits. The truth is, man, is your dude that's doing your tattoo work does suck. You know, like I said, I'm not trying to be a dick or an asshole or anything, but, you know, you don't deserve that shit that you're being put through, dude. Yeah, let's go ahead and bite on that closed one. Now, if you guys are wondering, I'm actually doing this for a very good friend of mine, Monica Haney. Um... I mean, if she's into anything with bats and skulls, and like, I figured, why not do a futuristic looking, you know, SRT8 and, you know, make it look dope. But, you know, like I said, dude, my point is, man, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm just trying to save you from making the worst decision of your entire life. And getting a shitty piece that will look like crap 30 years down the road from now. And definitely not big on that one. You know, like I said, dude, you're a good dude, and you don't deserve a shitty piece. Like, I feel like if you're going to get a tattoo piece, you want to have it done right, you want to have it done properly, and it needs to look professional. Like, you know, I'm not just going to walk up to some bum on the street. And then, hey, do my tattoo design. I'll pay you for it. And then have it turn out like shit later on down the road. Like, I've seen that happen to way too many fucking people. And it's... It's honestly sad. You know, it really is sad to see good artists. You know, being mocked at by these shitty artists. And like I said, dude, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm trying to save you from making the worst damn mistake of your life. Like I said, you know, because, you know, even though me and you aren't seeing eye to eye right now, I'm trying to save you from making a fucking mistake, man. Hold on, guys.
Come on. Yeah, hold that thought, guys. I'll be right back. I draw the dog out real quick. Alright guys, I'm back for now. Um I had to let the dog out real quick. But I'm still here till he gets back. But you know, like I said, man, it all comes down to two things. Your artwork itself and your attitude. I know this thing's really pissing me off. Um, I may have to, you know, I'm gonna switch up to the Ferrari since you're bugging me about it, dude. I'll just go off and do that. Like I've already done one once, but fuck it, I'll do it again. Oh, hold on, dog's back.
But you know, like I said, guys, it all comes down to two things in the tattoo world. And it's completely true, you guys. Anybody, it all comes down to two things. Your attitude and your ability to draw. Like, that is what it ultimately comes down to. And I'll be honest with you. If you got a shitty attitude and you're a tattoo artist, ain't no fucking way I'm letting you touch me with that damn needle. You can kiss my ass on that. And it also depends on the quality of your work. Like, that's what it all comes down to, is the quality of your work and your attitude. Because like I said, nobody wants a shitty tattoo artist who's, you know, shitty in, you know, attitude or art-wise. Like, those two, you might not think they matter, but boy, those two things matter immensely. All right, guys, I am going to have to end the live stream right here because it is giving me shit. Um, I will pick back up on this build in just a little bit. Just let me restart this, and I will hit you guys up with the new build.